What's up guys, this is Josh, one of your Alchemy developer advocates. And in today's tutorial, I wanted to delve into the world of Super Insight DB. Now, Super Insight DB is a robust relational database for unstructured data that's built on top of PostgreSQL. Now, with Super Insight DB, you can effortlessly store and search unstructured data using a simple SQL interface. And what's even more exciting is that you can perform machine learning operations using SQL statements. So let's get started on this journey of data management and analytics with Super Insight DB. Now, first, we'll kick things off by deploying Super Insight DB. And to do this, you'll need to log into your cloud manager. And if you guys don't have an account, don't worry. It's super easy to set up. Just go to Linode.com and create an account and log in. And this will get you to the page that I'm at. Now, on the left navigation menu, you want to select Marketplace. And this will take you to all the pre-configured apps that you can install within a Linode. And what we want to do is search for Super Insight. So all we have to do is type Super and it should come up right at the top. And if you click on the information tab right there, it'll bring up on the right hand side information about what exactly this app is and what it's used for. And as you can see, it's Super Insight Relational Database for Unstructured Data. And then they also have a link to Super Insight's main website so you can get a little bit more information on understanding how to use Super Insight. And also there is a guide on how to deploy Super Insight through the Linode Marketplace that you could click on. And this is within our documentation website. Now let's go down and close that and create our cloud instance. And all we have to do is select Super Insight and it'll bring down the options down at the bottom in order for you to to configure everything and the first step is selecting a image and it's already selected the ubuntu 22.04 which is the current long-term supported release of ubuntu which is a good base and then also you want to select your region which is super simple to do all you want to do is select the location that's closest to you so i'll select california fremont california i'm on the west coast so that's the closest for me and then you want to select your linode plan and you have a whole bunch of options here just go through and select what's best for your compute instance that you're creating and what i'll do is just select the shared cpu and since this thing is doing a little bit of machine learning and i'll show you guys a little bit of it i'll select the two gig which is super cool for what i need to do and then also super insight doesn't have a minimal requirement to actually run it all right so once you got your Linode plans set up then you can go down there or some more options down here like your Linode label which is pre-configured based on the selections you made above is super insight which is the app we're installing the location meaning the country and then the region so us west and then also you can add tags and this will break it down even further for you so one of the main things you want to do is set a super strong root password for this server especially if you're going to be using this long term and so i'll just put some in there and just make sure you get the strength up to good and you're good to go and then also you can add ssh keys that way you are not prompt with a password to log into it via ssh and then you can select uh, vlans if you need it this is only if you need it and then some more add-ons down here like backups private ips but that's pretty much it for me and i'm just hit create linode and we're pretty much done at this point now while the installation is underway let's talk about the verification now super insight db should be fully installed within five to ten minutes after the compute instance has finished provisioning because the way it works is it sets up the operating system and then go through and install super insight and then handle all the configuration and then it will also spit out the login credentials and examples on how to actually get into the server. In order to gather that information, you can log in using the Lish console, which is right here on the top hand side. Once you have your compute instance fully provisioned and you also waited that five to 10 minutes for the configuration of Super Insight, then like I said, you'll get the message containing the admin user details. Or you can also log in directly using the SSH access. So all you have to do is type SSH from any Linux computer with the root account, you know, the IP address, type in that password we created and it'll allow you to log into it and you'll be greeted with that admin information. And so let me give it a couple minutes for it to fully configure and then I'll show you guys how to log into it and retrieve that 
super insight db connection stream that will allow you to connect to the database all right so i waited about 10 minutes let's go down and try to log into our server and all we have to do is grab our ssh uh, access command that's written out for us or we can use the like i said the list console but i'm gonna just ssh into it from the machine i'm gonna connect to our super insight database that way i can have the information readily available for me to type it in to our client to connect to our server. And this is Ubuntu 23.10. It doesn't matter which version. So all I have to do is type SSH root and then our IP address. So the at symbol and then our IP address of our server. And it was 173.230.154. Press enter. And it will basically add the fingerprint to our system. We could type yes here, press enter, and then we'll ask you for that password that we use to create our compute instance. So right fast. And then, like I said, as soon as you log into it, you'll be greeted with the information on how to log into Super Insight. And like I said, you wanna wait that 10 minutes or five to 10 minutes or so for your system to come up and then it'll provide that information for you. And so this is the connection stream in order to log into your Super Insight server. And so what I like to do is copy this. Let's copy this out. And actually we can copy the whole thing. That way you guys can see it all, but just open up your favorites so text editor and paste that in there and now we need a actual client because i don't believe this system has a client on it so i just kind of want to show you guys that so i'm gonna exit out of the server we don't need it anymore all we need is this information because it gives us our admin account or the name of the account which is admin the password for that account and then the ip address which we already know and it uses 5432 as a default port for postgres sql and then this is our database for super insight so i'll show you guys that once we get a client installed and there's one that i recommend for you guys is deep and you can install this on windows as well as mac but i'll be showing you guys here on linux so it's just the beaver and i'll bring up the app once we get there so the ce is the community edition that's what that ce stands for so d beaver ce and all we have to do is install that stable version so it's going to ask you for your pseudo password so we type that in and wait for the installation to complete. And I'll be back when it finishes. It takes a little while on here. All right, so the installation is complete. Are we, we can click open here or you can go in and actually find it. I already hit open, so it's gonna pop up in a second, but uh, all you have to do is find it under your applications. You'll see DB Beaver there. And so let's go down and close that, but you'll see it open up and it may look familiar to you if you've used like MySQL Workbench. What makes this one different? You can connect to any type of database. So Workbench, I believe is specifically for MySQL. DB will allow you to connect to any database management system like MySQL as well as Postgres. And so the first thing it'll do is ask you if you wanna create a sample database, we're not going to. And like I said, it'll allow you to connect to any type of database. So MariaDB, MySQL, Oracle, Postgres SQL, which is what we're looking for as well as Microsoft SQL Server, which is super cool. And I won't go through them all. I'm not trying to show you guys this application. We're mainly focused on Postgres, which will get us into our Super Insight server. So let's just hit next here and it will ask you for your connection information and connect by host. That's what you want to have selected. That's the default. So this breaks out the string. So it's a JDBC string that you're using to connect to the server. And all you have to do is update this information here with our information that we copied from the server. So let's go back to our notepad. And what we need is the IP address. So that's what will go where it says host name. So we can grab that right fast. Let's go here type in our host name and you'll see an update in the string up here. See, it put the IP address in there and then we have to specify the database name. And according to our information we downloaded, our database name is Super Insight. So all we have to do is copy that and we could drop that into our connection information. And let's paste that in there. So Super Insight, boom. And then down here under authentication, this is the important part. You wanna put admin because we know that the account that it creates is admin and then our password. So we can copy that from our text. So let's highlight that, copy that, go back over here to our connection string, drop in our password, and that's pretty much it. All you have to do is test the connection first. I recommend you test it because basically this is what it's doing to connect to it. So test it. It'll go through and test it out. And right here, you may see this pop up, but this is some drivers for Postgres SQL. All you gotta do is download those drivers and you get to go and then as you can see, it connected. So it automatically went through, it did a connection test, it connected to the server and we get to go. So all we have to do is hit okay and then finish. And this will allow us to connect to that 
server. All right, so now that we connected to our Super Insight database, let me just show you guys the actual database, and I'll just kind of break it down a little bit. This is the schema. So you got your MLDB, you got your model, and this is where you can ask your questions, or you can do semantic searches, you could do summarizations, you could do text clarification, text generation, and translation. And so you basically just enter tables in here. There are some examples on Super Insights website that you can follow and i'll just bring that up i already have it up right fast but they do have a quick start and you can go through and install the table i just ran through and created the table underneath the database and then also inserted some data and then you can use some of these examples to go through and test out the machine learning database and there you have it you've learned how to deploy super insight db verify the installation and connect to your database. And with Super Insight DB, managing unstructured data becomes a breeze. And if you found this tutorial helpful, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing to the Alchemy channel for more informative tutorials like this. Also, if you have any questions, please leave comments down in the comment boxes below. And thanks for tuning in. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Peace.